All right, good morning. Today we are going to talk about some more regression concepts, and specifically we're going to talk about linearization of nonlinear models. So it actually turns out that we can do regression on uh, data that's nonlinear if we linearize it and then perform the regression. So this video is going to cover linearization of non-linear data for the purpose of creating a regression model, okay? And so nonlinear uh, data comes in uh, many forms. Uh, the most common forms and the ones we're going to talk about today are the exponential. Okay. And the exponential model. <clears throat> the power model. And the saturation growth rate model, All right? And each one of these models is a little bit different. We have, for the uh, exponential model, we basically have data that's in the form of y equal to alpha 1 e to the beta 1. X. For the power model, we have data that's in the form of y is equal to alpha 2 x to the beta 2. And then for the saturation growth model, we have data in the form of y is equal to alpha 3 times x <coughs> over beta 3 plus x. So in real life, uh, data can come come to us uh, in one of these forms, if we want to fit a model to it or if we want to specifically find alpha 1, beta 1, or alpha 2, beta 2, or alpha 3, and beta 3 um, from the model, um, what we can do is actually use linear regression if we linearize each one of these. Okay, So if we are to linearize this data, then we can just use our regression concepts. So to linearize this data, we basically just take the, the natural log of, so let's say, take the natural log of both sides. To linearize this data, we basically take the log, base 10, of both sides. And to linearize this data, we basically just take the inverse of both sides. Okay, if we do that, uh, what we end up with is uh, a linear linear data that looks like natural log of y equal to beta 1 x plus natural log of alpha 1. Okay, and this is your slope beta 1, and this is your intercept. Okay, and what you should see is this is the same form, the same form as y is equal to mx plus b. So if we use regression on this new data, this log y, and uh, taking the log of both sides, then we can uh, actually find uh, the regression values. So we do the same thing here. We linearize, take the log base 10 of both sides for the power model. Okay. And that gets us log of y is equal to beta 2 times the log of x plus the log of alpha 2. And again, we have the slope and we have the intercept. And similarly, we can invert this data 
and then we get data that's in the form of 1 over y is equal to beta 3 over alpha 3 times 1 over x plus 1 over alpha 3. Okay, so if we were to plot this, we basically have um, the same thing. You know, this would be our new y data, this would be our slope data, and this would be our intercept. Okay, and so uh, once the models are linearized, we can do regression, and from before, we know that regression, we can just find an A1 is equal to in times the sum of xi, yi, minus the sum of xi, yi, over in times the sum of xi squared minus the sum of xi squared. And a zero is y bar minus a1 x bar, where x and y bar are the averages of both of those. So um, that's pretty much what we do for this. And I'm just going to pull up an example um, in Excel. And of course, you know, uh, the analogy here, we can use uh, regression on this new data. Okay, and our X and Y data, our, our Y data is going to be over here on the left-hand side. Okay, this would be our new Y data. And it fits in the form of this. And then our new X data, I mean our X data is still here. And then we can... Um, use that to find A1 for our slope and A0 for our intercept. Okay, and so what I did is I basically created a spreadsheet and to show you how to do this. And let's see here, move this over so I can see. Okay, so this here is power data. Uh, this comes from, this is your X data and your Y data. Um, and this is just data values that I put in uh, from the book. Uh, it's just power data. And over here, uh, to linearize the uh, power equation, just like before, um, I just uh, took the log of, of both sides, okay, for the power model. So transform the data like this, and that gives me uh, this data, the log of x and the log of y. And once I have these new x and y values, I can get the, uh, the quantities that I need for uh, finding the coefficients. And recall that these are just the coefficients. Uh, a0 and A1. And we showed how to get those in a previous video. And so um, what I do is I can I basically get these things for the numbers I count, uh, this new data. I sum the data, get my X bar, sum my Y, get my Y bar, sum my X of I times Y of I and my X of I squared, which are uh, these quantities. Um, over here, so we have our labels. And um, so once we get all these, then we can calculate our uh, regression values just using um, that equation from the stuff that we've calculated uh, from our new data over here, our log data. And what will happen is that'll give us the regression values for um, um, uh, beta 2 and alpha 2L, and um, that'll give us uh, this data down here. But if we want to actually um, 
use this data, then we have to take, uh, because we took the log of this coefficient, we just have to raise it here to uh, 10 to this value. If we want to plot the data back in the uh, non-logarithmic uh, scale, and we can do that just by taking our original x values here, and then taking the y values, and we use our the coefficients that we found from the power law. This was the beta 2 found by regression, and this is the AR. A2 found by regression, but of course to get it back in the power law, we want to take that coefficient um, down here, which is basically what we got from our regression, uh, but we do 10 to this value to uh, get, uh, get it back in the original form from the log form. Okay, so this is an example of how we uh, linearize data, and here you can see this is the original data and the linearized data, and I'm going to upload this uh, spreadsheet for you guys so you can look at it, and um, that's how you linearize a nonlinear data.